yes friends now i'm taking next lecture next lecture means next root number which is then root, uh, root number 5 okay now root number 5 which again very important okay as i promised you that i'm taking almost all kinds of roots prefixes and suffixes so that one can or you can build your vocabulary very strong you can uh, enlarge your vocabulary you can strengthen your vocabulary you can increase your vocabulary so, okay for that purpose i am taking the roots prefix and suffix this is root number five which is again very important as every root is very important that will increase your vocabulary by at least 50 to 60 words if you are in search of all these words and if you find any word which is including this these three this i mean this root then you will automatically understand that the meaning of that word is obvious to you is clear to you you will recognize the meaning of that word very easily then because this word indicates the same thing okay so i'm taking these parts of the speech different words have taken which are parts of the speech noun pronoun verb adverb etc adjective adverb adjective noun or any other part of okay that word so i'm taking these words which are parts of the speech but these words are based on this basic root which is very important and i know that the people who are studying the humankind the man the study of man social science and everything is based on this word okay anthropology anthropo anthropologist the person is okay philanthropist misanthropic the mis misanthropist or misanthropic misanthropology anthropology philanth okay then philanthropology misanthropology mis uh, uh, okay then anthropolo ant anthropogenesis anthropoglot number of words are there i found that dictionary is full of the a uh, number of words based on this basic root so this root is important as i promised you that i'll give you in in valuable in valuable niche uh, which is without any cost this is costless thing costless means no cost you cannot count the cost of this this is valuable thing invaluable thing which has no value of its importance i mean infinite value this is you cannot measure the value of this this is infinite value okay so this will increase the words of a person if he is just interested in studying english in a um, in a very philanthropic or researching man okay if you are doing the research in english then it is very important the root for you okay, now come to the point let me take this fifth root root number five which is antho only one root is there antho okay this antho bird a n t h r o p antho that means man simple word man antho means man okay man is any human being any person who is having life okay that person man okay <coughs> now man is taken generally for all the human beings okay so man living thing okay anthropo and this word is taken from greek root the greek root is anthropos anthropos meaning man okay so this has been taken from what is the uh, 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 um, what do you call uh, etymology of this word so etymology is it is taken from greek root from greek root okay the word greek root word the word is anthropos anthropos p o sorry anthro anthro pos N T S R O P O S anthropos that means man. This anthropos basic root in Greek language. Greek language this word has been taken anthropos taken from Greek root anthropos that means man. Okay, so, and this word is giving you a lot of words. As I have told you that English grammar is English dictionary or English vocabulary is based on roots, prefixes, and suffixes. And they are borrowed from different languages of the world, mostly, majorly three languages: Latin, French, or Greek. 
okay and then number of other languages most of the most of the language of the world okay from there the words have been borrowed in the english dictionary because of that english dictionary is the largest source of words in the world nowadays no any other language is having that much number of words which english grammar english dictionary is having okay so this is just to increase just to know each and every word of english dictionary you have to go through the roots prefix and suffix this is very important uh, what you call valuable thing i'm giving to you okay now come to so anthropos now based upon this let me take these words one by one a number of other words can be found i'm giving you here 10 or 12 words i'll take two more words also but these 10 or 12 words are not sufficient please go through the research upon this topic and go through the dictionary and dictionary will give you number of other words wherever you find this kind of word which is including this this basic root anthropo or anthrop anthrop that means anthropo or anthrop that means men and then you will find that this related i mean what is the value value of this what is the benefit of this roots understanding roots or studying roots that will give you that if any word which is related to this root comes to your view or then you can immediately or instantly you will understand the meaning of that word this is the value of this benefit of this uh, going to the roots okay reading the roots or knowing the roots is benefit that that you can recognize the meaning of that word immediately without any i mean uh, uh, wasting of time okay you are not going to search the dictionary then because you have already done a lot of research upon this so this is how roots are beneficial for everyone not only the people who are entering in the competitive examinations or who are going to the regular courses but every human being every person who wants to study english who want to read english who want to communicate in english who want to study english who want to write uh, okay um, any letter or anything in english okay so writing will be improved writing will be so much improved english communication will be improved communication improves all the four parts listening reading writing speaking speaking all the four activities of communication will be improved upon everything will improve upon. let me take that these words so first word i've taken here the first word here <coughs> now the first word is anthropogeography anthropogeography first word is anthropo anthro anthropogeography geo g r e p h o anthropogeography it is a noun and a body a noun part of his speech and that means anthropogeography means what is that that we have to study that in the globe man is spread in which globe in which parts of the world the study of distribution of man in the world this is what is that is study of the study of distribution of men in the globe the study of of distribution the study of distribution of men kind men kind or men in the world of men in the world or in the globe in the world let me take or on the globe so in the globe where human beings are spread are distributed the distribution of men in the world is study is the basic object of this anthropogeography okay history geography means the uh, history of earth geo earth geo geo means earth and graph means history of okay geography history of earth okay or this is study of earth anthropo geography second point or second word that we take here which is anthropic anthropic this is noun here and this is adjective anthropic a n t h r o p i c anthropic what is anthropic adjective here this is part of the speech adjective anthropic and anthropic means related to the man okay anthropic means pertaining to mankind of or this is of or relating to 
pertaining to or cause pertaining to pertaining to men or mankind of or pertaining to or related to mankind this is anthropic naturally adjective related to the human being related to the mankind okay or pertaining to the mankind of mankind pertaining to mankind related to the mankind this is anthropic means okay so anthropic this is second word i take i will take third fourth fifth about ten words okay so this anthropic i have talked about that this is taken from greek root anthropos let us take next third word the third word is anthropocentric and through po anthropocentric c e n t r i c anthropocentric naturally adjective this is part of speech adjective anthropocentric where center is the man human kind okay when we are studying anything keeping in the center man in the center okay that is anthropocentric pertaining to mankind and this is assuming that man is the center of all this is meaning of this pertaining to or assuming the meaning of this is assuming that assuming that man is the center of all anthropocentric undoubtedly anthropocentric center is the room of all everything man is the center man is the center right this is anthropocentric so assume that man is the center of all anthropocentric let me take now fourth one <coughs> anthropo anthropolatry anthropolatry right anthropolatry this is Anthropolatry. This is noun. This part of speech is noun. Anthropolatry, like idolatry. Idolatry means idol worship, worship of idol, right? Idol means a statue. So worship of idol, considering God as idol. So worship of idol is idolatry. Simply, anthropolatry means worshiping man as the or worshiping man. Worshiping of man is anthropolatry. Literary, idol, literary, right? Idol, idol means a statue. But that idolatry, this is anthropolatry. When we are worshiping man, so worshiping that is okay. The worshiping of a man as God is idol, anthropolatry, literary work. Idolatry, anthropolatry, like this. Anthropolatry means worshiping the worship of. This is the worship of man. of a man as god worshiping of a man any more this worshiping of a man as god worship worshiping of a man as god this is known as anthropolatry and just like idolatry anthropolatry this is the four words we have taken let me take other six words Take other six words. This is man. Okay, from Greek, Greek anthropos. Now come to the point. Now fifth one. The word is anthropology. Right? Anthropology. A N T H R O anthropology. L O G Y anthropology. Now what is that? The science of man. Anthropology is the the science of man. The science of man. So this is anthropology. Then sixth one. Sixth one. Anthropology, science, the science of man. The study of man. The science of man. Logic means study. The study of man. Okay, the science of man. Science means science here. The study of man. 
uh, anthropology, logic means the study of science, science of man, the study of man, etc. That means anthropology. Then anthropoid, that's what is anthropoid, P O I D. Anthropoid, this is adjective. Yeah, anthropoid is adjective part of the speech. Anthropoid, adjective, anthropoid. That means resembling men or resembling men. Resembling men. Okay. Just like an anthro anthropoid ape. Anthropoid. For example, an anthropoid. An anthropoid ape. Ape ape monkey like figure okay. anthropoid just like it an app is looking just like ape is looking like man that is anthropoid that app is anthropoid because it is looking just like man equivalent to man anthropoid it is resembling man an anthropoid ape this is the example here an anthropoid ape for example and this is resembling man so that's you know the anthropoid adjectives Right now seven. What is seven? Oh, let me take. Anthropologist. Anthropologist. Who is anthropologist? Anthropologist. Anthropologist. Right. Anthropologist. Now here. The person who who is busting mankind who is versed in anthropology yeah anthropology study of science of man study of man the person who is versed in study of man or in anthropology this is anthropology the scientist or the person okay the one who is one who is versed or knowledgeable in anthropology who is versed in anthropology with Western anthropology. This is honest. Anthropologist, the person is. That person is anthropologist. Anthropology, okay? This is honest. anthropologist. So anthropologist, the person who is versed in anthropology. Worst is means knowledgeable person in anthropology, study of mankind. Okay, the science of mankind, the person who is who knows what is science of mankind. Who is, History man at the center. Okay, the seventh, seventh number, seventh word. We have discussed a lot. Let me now talk about eighth, ninth, and other words. So this is anthropo. Anthrop, anthrop means man. Whenever this word is, this root is found, you can find the imagine about the meaning of that word. That word will give you immediate meaning. Okay. Now eighth one. Eighth word is philanthropy. What is philanthropy? Yes, I feel entropy. Feel entropy. This is philanthropy. Right? This is phil entropy. P H I N A N T H R O P by philanthropy. This is noun here. Pass of speech. This is noun. What is philanthropy? Philanthropy love of mankind. Phil, what is Phil means to love. Anthropy means man. Philanthropy, love of mankind. This is philanthropy. That this is love of mankind. Love of mankind. This is philanthropy. Phil means to love. Phil is, in this case, Phil is prefix. The prefix, when we study, we will study. Then I'll talk about that. Phil means what? To love. To Okay, to like a person, to, to love a person, to love mankind. Entropy means mankind and the film is to love, to love of mankind. This is philanthropy. Right, philanthropy. <coughs> philanthropy. Now, ninth word is misanthropy. Misanthropy. Misanthropy, again, it is noun. Again, it is a noun. Misanthropy mis means here to hate, hate mankind or hatred of mankind. 
Yeah, this is hatred of mankind. We can say this is hatred of hatred of mankind, right? Hatred of mankind, misanthropy, hatred of mankind. Tenth word is now tenth word is anthropometer, right? Anthropo anthropo meter M E T E R again noun it is a noun here okay misanthropy misanthropy philanthropy both are nouns and they are love and hatred of mankind right love of mankind philanthropy misanthropy hatred of mankind and this anthropometer is an instrument to measure the mankind what is, what is the measuring of man? Measuring means measuring of man means measuring the limbs of the man, measuring the parts of man. That is uh, anthropometer. Anthropometer means any instrument to measure the parts of a man or parts of or limbs of a man. That is anthropometer, right? <coughs> so anthropometer means an instrument. This is an instrument to measure to measure to measure the parts of a man or limbs of a man limbs of the human body man or limbs of the human body that is anthropometer of the parts of the human body parts of the human body right this is known as Anthropometer, right? Anthropometer. Now, number of other words are there. Let me give you two or three more. Uh, anthropogenesis. What is anthropogenesis? To study the origin of mankind. That is known as anthropogenesis. How man was developed, how man has been developed. Is it a, was it an A, F, or it has come up, come from the A, or it has come from another and the, I mean planet etc etc the study of mankind human being how human being how man was developed that is anthropogenesis and anthropogenesis means the genesis the origin of man to study the origin of man is anthropogenesis and the word this may be 11th word 12th word let me take anthropoglot what is anthropoglot any animal which is having the same tongue as a man is having tongue means language or tongue yeah anthropoglot glot means animal which is having similar tongue as that of man that is anthropoglot anthropoglot anthropogenesis okay number of anthropogenetic anthropo uh, uh yeah glottary anthropoglotic etc etc number of adjectives are framed number of nouns are framed anthropoglot is a noun any an animal which is resembling man that animal is anthropoglot okay and uh, um, anthropogenesis again now the study of the study that man is the uh, what the development of man how man was developed the development of man study okay is known as anthropogenesis genesis origin of man you should then so all those are yeah noun and they yeah, are nouns but we can frame number of adjectives from these nouns different words can be obtained can be generated you will find yourself a different person after this this route here this i'm promising you okay so please respond how how will you respond i know that you are going to benefit from this this there is no doubt about this okay if you are laboring a bit you, if you are getting 50 to 40 words 40 to 50 i mean or 50 to 60 words whatever your labor is there you have to search the words from dictionary from other sources whatever sources you have okay i'll give you the hint that dictionary is the best source of every word you can find all these words in the dictionary and see the meaning of those words and there you can find and other words also 50 to 40 40 40 50 60 whatever words i mean 30 50 40 whatever you labor you will be benefited this is 100 percent sure okay so please search upon these words these words are taken here they are based on the one root anthrope 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 means man anthrope man anthrope man taken from greek word anthropos anthropos a n t s r o p s <coughs> r o anthropos anthrope 
ANTHRO POS Anthropos that means man this is in Greek language from Greek the word has been originated and this word has given a lot of words for vocabulary in the English dictionary and you will find you yourself as a different person you are a researcher if you are a researcher you are a seeker of knowledge you can increase your knowledge there is no doubt about this you will improve upon your speaking your writing your reading everything will be improved upon your book reading will be improved upon your English speaking will be improved upon your listening will be improved upon your writing will be improved upon writing is the basic object of every person if one wants to become a good writer a good writer good writing can be obtained if you are aware of the words vocabulary okay if you have a strong vocabulary then there is no doubt nobody is going to uh, defeat you in that, in that field so writing will be improved upon your reading will be improved upon your speaking will be improved upon fluency at English speaking will be obtained there is no doubt about this but going through is the fifth route we are discussing about six seven eight etc etc i discuss about the how many roots are there upon one letter a how many roots are there upon b how many roots are there upon c so you will know about every root based upon each part of each letter of alphabet okay that is my objective here and i know that this is for the all, all those students especially for the, the students who are happening in competitive examinations in various competitive examinations a lot of words vocabulary are being asked for that this is the base okay so please go through this and i'll just take you see you in the next lecture series in which i'll take next lecture in which i'll take next route the sixth one seventh one etc etc okay then see you in the next lecture series